Hi, my future OB nurses. So I have a lot of questions from students who always ask me, how do I know how many centimeters my patient is? Well, very simple. You just want to take a tape measure and you're going to measure your fingers, number one, to see how thick your fingers are. So for me, notice if I put my finger here, one finger for me is about a centimeter, okay? So dilation. So I know that if I'm able to introduce a finger, only one finger, into my patient's cervix, that means she's one centimeter dilated. If she's two centimeters dilated for me and for the size of my fingers, well, go ahead, I do like this. So if you see, it's about two centimeters of dilation, okay? So one and a half finger for me is two centimeters. But notice if I put my fingers side by side, then my patient is three centimeters dilated. If I'm able to spread my fingers a little bit, then I know that she is four centimeters dilated. If I could spread them apart this way, I know she is five centimeters. But now, once I start not being able to spread my fingers, because I have pretty long fingers, guys. I'm 6'1", I have very long fingers. So if I'm able to really spread and stretch out my fingers, then I know she is six centimeters. But if I'm stretching out my fingers and it starts hurting me, then I start going this way into the cervix, then she is seven centimeters dilated. A little bit further, eight centimeters. Nine, right? See, I'm stretching my fingers up and down this way. And if she's 10 centimeters, I'm really, really stretching those fingers, okay? My index finger is usually up or to the side, and then my middle finger is usually all the way to the other side or down, okay? And usually when a patient is 10 centimeters dilated, hopefully they're 90 to 70% effaced. That means that the cervix has shortened. And usually you start feeling around and you could feel the baby's head, okay? So you could feel it inside. Now, how do you determine station? Well, let's say that I could fill the bones. So this is the vagina right here, and I'm able to fill the bones of the mom, the ischial spines on the side. Well, I'm gonna fill the ischial spines, I'm gonna spread my fingers to see how dilated she is, but then I'm going to go up, and if I'm touching the ischial bone, and I'm one centimeter above, then she's negative one. one cent two centimeters above, negative two, three centimeters above, that's where I fill the baby's head then, that means baby's negative three. But if I'm introducing my fingers again, but I feel the ischial spines here, right, on the side, but I feel that the head is just below that little bone, then I'm gonna say she's plus one. A little bit lower, plus two. Here's my ischial bone, and baby's head is kinda like this, plus two. If I can open mom's vagina and I see the head immediately, then I say she's plus three. Usually at plus four, four centimeters below the ischial spines, she is um, bulging, bulging, okay? Um, plus five, oh, that baby's crowning. So the vagina, all you'll see is vagina is all around the head, like all the way down to almost the eyebrow. I would say one fourth of the baby's head is out. Then after that, once that head is out, the practitioner will just pull that baby's head out and maneuver with the hands, help the shoulders to come out, and baby's born. Okay, so that's it for today. <laughs> Bye. So just to keep in mind that every practitioner has different size fingers, right? So maybe somebody has little fingers and maybe their fingers are just 0.5. Okay, but mine, my index finger is one centimeter in from side to side, I would say in diameter, okay? But for me, two is a finger and a half, three is two fingers, four is a little spread of my fingers, um, five is more of a spread, like a V. Six, I'm stretching out my fingers. Seven, then I start going sideways. Eight, nine, ten, all I'm feeling around is head and maybe a little bit of cervix if she's still 90% effaced. But if I just feel head all around, then she's 10 centimeters dilated, right? 100% effaced. And then you have to say the station. Where is the baby's head in comparison to the ischial spines? And that's how you do an SVE, how you measure it, okay? SVE stands for Sterile Vaginal Exam.